In this video, I'm going to check out how well the Windows Mixed Reality headsets work in a huge play area out in the great wide open. Hello and welcome here to Mixed Reality TV. My name is Sebastian Ang and if this is your first time here and you would like to stay up to date about anything Windows MR and the VR and AR industry in general, subscribe now and click the bell button so you don't miss any awesome episode just like this one. Now, this is the very first episode of a new show that I'm starting here on the channel and it's called In the Name of Science. So in the name of science, I'm going to try awesome, funny, interesting things that have to do with AR, VR and that I want to show you and that I want to try out for the first time actually. So in this very first episode, I'm going to try out how well do the Windows Mixed Reality headsets work outside in a huge play area. So what I, I brought my Windows MR headset, I have my laptop here in my backpack and I have just marked a huge 10 meters times 10 meters play area here in my local park and I'm going to try out how well that works in several apps and games. So I really hope you enjoy it. I'm already having lots of fun here even though it hasn't started yet and um, now I'm going to start. So the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to set the boundaries i still want to set the boundaries here within the 10 times 10 meters so if i cross them i will still know that i should probably go back or whatever okay so that's what i'm going to do now let's check it out together oh no as you can tell our play area is just being invaded by some ducks here oh no oh no You have to be careful with your play area if you're outside. <laughs> okay, it seems it does have a problem to know where we are in space, basically. So I'm going to move the boundaries close together and then do this again. Again, it asks me, it tells me we can't find your space, choose a setup. No. On this green background here, <laughs> with, with um, the grass, it doesn't seem to work. So I'm not going to give up so fast. <laughs> so I'm going to find another area with another floor with another ground which is not grass and then let's give it a sh shot at another place okay so this here is the second try i have set up my play area on concrete this time actually this is a big parking space hope there's no car gonna come but well this is in the name of science right so have to do it have to make this happen next thing i'm going to do also here i'm going to um, um, do the boundary going to walk around and then I'm going to try again. However, I've just seen that um, the, the power on my laptop is already at like 25% just by these 15 minutes that I did before. So I honestly believe playing outside with laptop with this technology in the November of 2017 is not the best of ideas. But anyways, it's good to find that out in this experiment. But now let me trace the boundary. Yes, nice work, here's your boundary, except. Now, again, gonna put this into my backpack <laughs> and hopefully now I can do some virtual reality. And I can walk around, yep, boundaries here. Feels good to have so much space actually. However, it is not perfectly smooth. 
But well, I'm also running this laptop now on battery. So yeah. Okay, yeah, that feels cool. It feels really great to be able to walk around like this. Nice. So, you can do this, however, you cannot do this on green grass, it seems. On grass, it did have a problem. However, if you, if you have some concrete, for example, then it seems to work pretty nicely. And now I'm in the, in, in the wide open on some parking space. There were some people now parking their car and I'm, I'm sure they had a great time to see me walk around like this. Okay, now let's play some Space Pirate Trainer. Actually, it's really nice to be in the open now and play this. Yeah, it works perfect. It works great. This must be quite the sight now for the people who just parked their car. It's good that I'm recording this. This must be hilarious. It's, it's really refreshing to have actually so much space now to be able to walk around here. It's grew, it's so cool. And actually, yeah, I mean, if there's a car coming, I will hear it. I will hear it. Oh, car coming. <laughs> I mean, don't, no, no, car's going somewhere else, so I can keep on playing here now. Okay, new high score, perfect. Anyways, let me try now, since I'm here now, to also play some Onward, to play some other game. But now everything has stopped. I suppose that the battery is out. Okay, again, this is Mixed Reality TV, and this was the first show of In the Name of Science, where I try out interesting things that have to do with AR or VR. And um, well, I have checked out now if I can use the Windows Mixed Reality headsets here in outside in the great wide open. And the first try, it failed miser miserably when I tried this on grass. But the second time now, when I tried it here on concrete, it worked pretty well, other than that there are some cars coming just like now. So yeah, so um, well, uh, it worked now on the second try here with the concrete. The only thing is that, well, my laptop was running obviously on, on the battery and it seems like it didn't have the full power. So in the beginning it was a bit jittery, but actually then it worked. Actually then it worked fine. Um, was walking around the cliff house a bit, then did Space Pirate Trainer, which worked perfectly. And actually it was quite nice that I had this quite bigger play area well at least a little bit bigger than in my house back back at home um, yeah basically I just wanted to show that it works or I wanted to try out if it works so again it didn't work on green grass but worked well on concrete I suppose the green was too uniform with um, the grass so 
here the, 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 the concrete has some different shades of gray, so probably that helps the headset to pick this up. Yeah, anyways, I really hope that you enjoyed this first episode of In the Name of Science. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see the next episode where I'm for sure also going to try out something really interesting. Yeah, that's it here for me. My name is Sebastian Ang. This is Mixed Reality TV. And if you have not done so already, subscribe now and click the bell button so you don't miss the next episode. All right, looking forward to see you there. Bye.